Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And a couple of days ago, I posted some renders for shotgun bullets in my community tab and asked you if I should post a tutorial for that. So today in this video, we are going to create those bullets. So let me pull those uh, renders as a reference for this video. So this was one of the render and we are going to work on this. So let's take a cylinder and uh, increase the subdivisions. I'm taking 60 for this. Decrease the radius and the height. I'm taking radius 0 0.6 and height 0 0.7. Now take insert edge loop tool and add one edge here like this. Go to face mode and select all these faces. Then extrude. Add a little bit of thickness like this. Now select these faces. and add some offsets so just scale it with pressing shift like this and intrude these faces then scale and intrude one more time then add some offset and intrude again scale And now extrude it, go to front view and uh, in the wireframe mode, drag these faces till here like this. Go to edge mode, select this edge, then bevel, add fraction and segments. Now select these two faces and offset again, intrude them just a little bit and then extrude like this, pull these up till here, maybe a little down here. Now what we need to do is go to front view and in the face mode select all these faces and then extract. Now select this, uh, go to modify, center pivot, face mode and select these top faces. Then delete. Select all these edges and bevel. Add a little bit of fraction. So after beveling just select this edge, then extrude like this, then intrude it one more time. Now select these edges, then bevel, increase one segment. Now go to face mode and select these faces then select similar. And now we can extrude and add a little bit of thickness like this. And if we smooth it, then you'll see a shape like this. Now to front view and in the face mode, select everything and deselect these faces. Also the top ones. Now you have only these and uh, those faces in the bottom are selected. Delete them.
now go to edge mode and select this edge now extrude it and merge it to the center go to edge mode and select this edge then bevel decrease the friction like this add one segment So our high poly is ready. We just need to add some segments to this bottom part. So isolate it. Go to edge mode and select these edges. Then bevel. Turn off the chamfer. Decrease the fraction. Now select these three. And bevel. Decrease the fraction. Add one segment. Keep the fraction 0.35. Now again select these edges. And bevel. Turn off the chamfer. Increase the fraction. To 0 0.3. And then smooth it. So we have this uh, high poly model of our bullet shell. Now we just need to assign some materials for the material ID. So select it and uh, assign a new material. Let's take this plane. And uh, rename it. Let's take red. And change its color to red. Now take this and uh, let's add some smooth to this. Now select this and uh, again add some smooth like this. Now we need to select these faces and then grow. and assign a new material for this take blin and for this let's assign this yellow and now we can select this invert selection for the rest of the faces and assign a new material for this one as well take another blin and change its color to blue so we have uh, assigned the color for the material id so let's model a low poly mesh for this model and for that i'm going to start with another cylinder and keep the radius to 0 0.6 decrease the height go to front view and keep the height to 0 0.7 like this and uh, take insert edge loop tool add one edge here Place it here like this. Go to front view and go to face mode. Select these faces. Then extrude. Add some thickness. Go to top view. In the wireframe mode. Select these faces. Then press R with the shift to add some offset like this go to front view and extrude it till up here now 
Now again add some offset. and include it like this go to edge mode and select these two edges then bevel add segments go to front view in the vertex mode select these vertices and pull them up a little bit like this now for this bottom part i'm going to select these faces and then add some offset like this and intrude it again add some more offset then intrude till here and I think we are good with this low poly. Now isolate this and go to front view. Go to edge mode, select all these edges. Go to mesh display and select soften edge. Now go to edge mode again and select all these alternate edges to make them quad. And now delete. Repeat the same thing down here. Delete. Now every polygon is a quad polygon. So our low poly is ready. You can go to outliner and rename it as low poly and this one as your high poly. Let's unwrap this low poly. So isolate it and open your UV editor. And for this clone wrap, let's go to create and use this camera based. Now go to edge mode and select these edges. and this one So after selecting all these edges, just go to your UV editor and in the edge mode cut 
then go to UV shells, select all the shells, then unfold. Now you can put them in a layout like this. Select the shells, then use orient shell to fix the orientation. Now select this one and again orient shell. Select all of them and add them in a layout like this. Uh, let's pull this one up here and this one down. Select all of them and scale down a little bit to fit them in this grid. And uh, to add some more space between these UVs. Select all these and pull them up like this this one up a little bit and drag this one down so our UVs are done let's export a low poly and high poly select your high poly first and go to file and export selection as my high poly and now select this go to file and again export selection as the low poly so we have exported everything and in the next video we are going to import them in substance painter and bake and texture our model so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, then you can like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.